Hey guys, welcome to the first part in the Ultimate Shop Drab to Fab series. I'm gonna take you in, check it out. What we need to do first is take everything off the walls that are not gonna be needed later on, like all these two by fours and nails and stuff, corner uh, shelves, they're all coming off so we can get ready for paint because we're gonna get white paint all uh, on the walls and the ceiling. So we're just gonna be pulling out all of the switch plates, all the nails, um, all of this pegboard, that won't be reused. On this side, this side needs insulation. That side was an add-on later, it has insulation. So we gotta pull off the panels on the walls first on this side to put insulation in. So we're just gonna go through, get all that off, and then we'll pull some panels. I plan on reusing them, so we're gonna try to be delicate because coronavirus makes all of the wood so much more expensive right now. So anything I can reuse, I'll try to. So we're taking off the just random two by fours on the wall, stacking them over there, getting the walls ready for paint. All right, so we got a fire going in here because it's not uh, freezing, but it's a little chilly outside and I have no air in here. So we got turning the stove on. We've removed most of the uh, weird trim pieces and stuff. Pete's up there removing nails and odds and ends. And uh, we did get all the corner shelves out of here and all the big two by four pieces. They're over here, we'll just burn them for heat. And then we brought in all the insulation that's gonna go on this side on the exterior walls. So now I've gotta take down these lights cause they're just in the way and we're not gonna reuse them. And then we're gonna number each panel with a Sharpie. And then I'm gonna take a picture of the wall so we know um, what panel goes back and where it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and number them. I've gotta take down the wall up here, these corner pieces and then we'll uh, continue working on it. So we found this guy. It's just a, like a ceramic cat, Tomcat. It's a piggy bank. Uh, I guess this is the stuff that you find in like old shops. You know, uh, I know when I was redoing my house, I found like an old jug or whatever from like the twenties or so. So who knows how old this is. If you've ever seen anything like it, throw something in the comments. All right, so the, the walls are finally ready for us to pop off some panels. These are all nailed down, unfortunately, on this side. I'm gonna take the nails out, I'm gonna replace those with screws, so if I ever need to do this again, hopefully it's a lot easier. We're gonna start up at the top and do the little panels. We gotta take the trim off. You notice I numbered them one, two, three, four. It's all getting painted, so the numbers are meaningless. I just know exactly where I need to put the panels back up. The uh, electrical is turned off. So we're gonna pop the trim off and see how easy it is to get to uh, the walls behind this and uh, pull these panels off. All right, here's what we learned. You're never gonna get this off easily, uh, time savings wise, without destroying it. So I've opted to rip them off in any way I can, just destroy them, and then I'm just gonna replace the walls with OSB panels starting fresh because uh, this took an hour to get to here. We have one little panel off, <laughs> trying to save it. So here we go, ripping them off the walls, and we're just gonna go for it. Here, try to film aggression and you pull out all the mouth. <laughs>
here's what we have so far. We got this wall taken out. We got that wall taken out. Got that corner. And back here, I was able to pull off this pegboard in a perfect sheet. And I'm gonna shove insulation down and up so we won't have to rip and replace all that. And then the cavern room. Not looking forward to this because it's got a lot of shelving and stuff. All right, so I just finished uh, taking off all the walls, my friends and I. Took off all the walls, we couldn't save them, so we just smashed them in a billion pieces. And we're using them to stoke the fire to keep us warm while we work. Now that the walls are all off, uh, you can see I left some of the top pieces up there, but we can shove the insulation up there so we don't have to do new pieces. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna stuff it full of R13 faced. This is the Pink Panther R13 faced. We're gonna stuff that, staple it in place. Once we're finished with this, then we're gonna put new OSB walls on later. So let's get to insulating. All right, so you can see behind Brian, we did that wall, done that wall, we've done all this. I have two little strips right there to do. We've done inside there, and we just have to finish off this insulation right here. I've already pre-cut the strips, so let's put it in here. We just took off the middle, so we're gonna shove some up, shove some down, and then do the center, and we don't have to take off all of this, so that'll be nice. All right, so what we need to do next is get all of the replacement walls that I had to destroy and put them up and hang them. I'm gonna use screws this time in case I ever need to take it down. I'm not destroying walls, I can just remove the screws. So now I've gotta lift all these, move them over. This is a quarter inch, quarter inch OSB, and during COVID, they were super expensive. So try to avoid this if you can. All right, so since I have a stove, it's a lot better to put some hardy backer. This is the Easy Grid quarter inch cement board. I'm gonna put that around the stove so the walls don't catch on fire. So that's what I have here, four sheets of that. All right, so we gotta do some special stuff for the outlets. So I'm just gonna measure how far it's gonna be from over here. 28 three quarters by uh, 11 and three quarters. 28 and three quarters by 11 and three quarters. So that's the bottom corner of our box. Now we just need to measure the box. So this is my box. I'm gonna come in with a diamond tipped grinder for this masonite cut through here and then uh, We'll be ready. So we cut that out. Just gonna take the hammer, kind of bust it out. All right, so I cut my hole, and lift it into place, line it up with this one. You can see my hole is good. I went a little wide on that. We'll just get a jumbo plate and it'll be fine. So once I'm done with that, I'll repeat the same step because we have an outlet over there and our hard board will be up and good. All right, so my masonite is in. Now I'm just gonna take the plywood and fill the gaps. We're gonna start here with this outlet wall. So we'll start from here to here and we'll just continue on. Then we'll turn them sideways and fill up in these gaps and then finish it off over in the corner. And I'll have one little room left. We'll see how far we get today.
I'm back over here again. We just got all of those walls put in. Masonite back behind the stove so the walls don't uh, catch on fire and burn this thing to the ground. Got the walls there, put back together. And now we're working on the little closet, putting those back together. Say hi, Brian. Hello. Working hard. So that's what we're doing today. And man, if you don't have a stove in your shop, awesome. I love this thing and all this trash is fire. Day three, I'm losing count. Day three straight, uh, we've got the walls back up, the trim back up, the hardy board back behind the stove, and we've walled everything around. You can see we've got everything walled back in. I even walled in back behind the shelves, which didn't exist. I ran out of screws, so I got a little bit more work to do, but I got back inside that little room, and then that's all done back there. Just re-put back. So all the walls are ready and they are finished. So the walls are finished, ready for paint. We close any day now, so I wanna make sure that we're ready for paint because that's the very first thing we're gonna do is paint in the shop so I can start moving things in. So all the walls are done. We're day three, I got day four, I got a little bit of cleanup, and then I'm gonna rest for a while until we close and the painters come in and do their job. We'll talk to the painters, see what they plan on doing. Oh, forgot a step, day four, finish screwing in because I need to buy some more screws, but also take out the lights in the ceiling because they're painting the ceiling. So I've got some lights to take down and then we take a break and the painters come and do their thing. <laughs>